It is Thursday, and Thursday's um, always kind of the, the day of the week that you're looking forward to Friday, at least for those who work, right? Yeah. And, um, but we need to look at every day as a new day to learn something new, to do something new, and to take responsibility of our lives. And that's why I'm here tonight, to help you do that. Because, as you guys know, the people have heard me speak before, I love what I do. And anything that I can do to change someone's life, to live a better life, and to educate them and empower them, that's what I want to do, because that's my job. Just like you have your jobs, you are making a difference in your job and with every person that you meet. It doesn't matter what you're doing. If you're working here at Mother's, or you're a bank teller, or you're a cashier at the grocery store, or you are a nurse, or you are a lawyer, it doesn't matter. You're helping someone every single day. To re so really think about that. Really love what you do and give that person that you're taking care of each and every day everything that you have. Because one day, you're going to need it. I'm going to need it. So I say that because every patient I meet, it's like, OK, this is it. This is my project right now, and I'm going to do everything in my power. And of course, I don't know everything. And I tell my patients, I don't know everything, but I usually know someone who does know what I don't know. So um, anyway, we have a very interesting topic tonight. Very, very interesting. Has everybody heard of Candida? Yeah, well, probably all of us, well, we for sure all of us have it in our bodies. Um, but the problem is, is when this organism gets out of control. And uh, it's a very, very serious thing, to, very, very serious uh, disease, very serious infection, very serious takeover of the body. In fact, today, um, right before lunchtime, I had a lady, she's about 75 years of age, and I had just seen her in July. Fabulous, fabulous health for 75 years of age. And she came in and she goes, Dr. Keeley, I don't feel very well. And I said, well, what's been going on? She says, well, I had diverticulitis and my gastroenterologist gave me antibiotics. And if anyone's had diverticulitis, you usually give two different antibiotics. A Cipro, which is a broad spectrum antibiotic. And she was also on Flagyl. So I said, well, let's stick out your tongue. She stuck out her tongue, and her tongue was white, white as this screen. So that's a big indication, and probably there are other indications of yeast and fungus that you'll learn tonight. But if you look at your, um, if you look at your tongue tonight, or tomorrow, or the days ahead, and your, your tongue is white, it's very likely you have some degree of candida. So um, it's something to be very, very mindful of and careful of because it's a very, very serious illness. OK, so I, I always put this in all of my slideshows. I'm here to educate you and help you. So this is kind of our focus tonight, what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the organism and what it does. And we're going to talk about how it appears and all the symptoms and what we can do about it. Liliana's going to talk about the solutions. So it says there, did you know that 70 to 80 percent of the world's population suffers from candidiasis? Candidiasis is the disease of an overgrowth of candida. Actually, it's probably more like 90%, I would say, or more. And interestingly enough, Johns Hopkins did a research study. They had patients that had undergone sinus surgery. And they did a, what they call a retrospective analysis. They went back and looked at the cultures of all these sinus uh, infections. And they found that the culture grew out fungus as opposed to bacteria. And as a result, unfortunately, all these patients were getting antibiotics 
for their sinus, chronic sinusitis. You know how you go in, the doctor, what does he do? He immediately gives you antibiotics and he gives it to you for a very long time. You never get a week or two of antibiotics for sinus infection. You usually get 30 days of treatment. But what they found out that over 90% of them were actually fungal infections. Um, the other big segment of the population, about 30 million Americans, it's probably a little bit more than that. I see a lot of patients with nail fungus. She, 30 million is probably an underestimate. Pam, uh, I don't know if she's still here, who helps me do my slides. She, uh, that was the statistic she found. But a lot of times I think they don't really tell you the real deal. Um, so what is this candida? Well, candida is an organism. You have four different types of organisms that can take residence in your body. You have funguses, you have viruses, you have bacteria, and you have parasites. And you want to, we all have these. We all have these organisms, unfortunately, in us at some point in time. Viruses, if you've ever had a viral infection, like for example, if you've ever had chicken pox, you still have the viral infection. It's just, it's asleep or it's awake, and you want all viruses asleep. Candida, you have candida in your body, in your gastrointestinal tract, all over your body, in your vagina. There's candida everywhere in your body. It's when this candida gets out of balance. There are 400 different strains of yeast. It's a lot of different strains. And 400, I'd say 400, is probably more like 500 can cause disease in humans. Um, they occur in everyone, no age is spared and no sex is spared. So the overproduction, as I mentioned earlier, of candida is commonly referred to as candidiasis. You might have heard of the yeast syndrome also. And candida, how does it appear? Well, candida can appear as a rash on your body. If anybody has red rashes, pink, red, pink rashes on their body that they don't necessarily have to itch. A lot of times they will itch. If you've had a vaginal yeast infection, on males they usually get jock itch. That's a yeast infection. You have athlete's foot. All these are manifestations of candida or a yeast overload, a yeast imbalance overgrowth in the body. And as I mentioned earlier, see the little kid with the white? You see the white around the tongue, I mean around the lips and, in the, and on the tongue. Everybody's gonna be looking at their tongue tonight, I know it. Um, you'll be doing a lot of things after this talk tonight, actually. Um, so what is a fungus? A fungus, because there's hallmark traits to all the different organisms, whether it's fungus or virus or bacteria or parasites. But fungus is usually a single-celled uh, organism. And as I said, any kind of person can get a candida overgrowth. You don't just have to take antibiotics. You don't just have to be immunocompromised like people who take steroids or what we call immunocompromised. If people have had transplant surgery, those are immunocompromised people. People have recurrent illnesses. People who suffer from autoimmune diseases, those are what we call immunocompromised individuals. And those aren't the only people. You can just be like everyone here tonight. And so you don't know you have it because you, your body's kind of learned to just go along with the flow and coexist with the organism. Uh, as I said earlier, you, have people have heard of ringworm. Uh, you've heard of uh, different funguses that can be manifest in the skins. They have hallmark, they have hallmark appear, appearances on the skin. Athlete's foot, the nails, nail funguses, they can be, exist on the hands and the feet. I think I'm going the wrong way. Sorry about that. Um, so why are these organisms bad for you? Well, they're very, very bad for you because candida 